Hey there, this is Alex of PNW Bible Journaling here on the Creative Retreat YouTube channel with this month's July Faith Art Box called Abundantly More, written by Aaron Davis. It comes with a pin and a little bow clip, a fantastic stamp set, I can't wait to explore that, three pads of stickers, two of my very favorite style of alphas, and then these two items are add-ons, a scale um, stencil which I'm gonna to use today. And then those alphas you just saw, they actually resemble some alpha stickers we got a month or two ago. So today I won't be using the stamps, but I'll be using everything else, including the Faith-Filled Digital Printables that are three pages, and then some freebies of images I found because I was looking for lobes. So I'm going to be journaling in Matthew chapter 14, focusing in on verses 13 through 21, which is what the devotional actually focused on totally fun when you have that page available in your Bible. And I am going to use these two little fish and the Faith-Filled Digitals to inspire this page. So I loved that the story was about him providing abundantly more of two fish and five loaves. So I used these printable papers, inspired, I chose the longest, narrowest fish so I could use a bit of each of the colors on this um, printed paper that came in the Faithful Digitals, which you can find the link to purchase those as an add-on in the description below. And then I wanted to use the scale print paper to make the teardrop shaped fish. And then I'm just flip-flopping for the fins. And I'm just using the fish right there on the printable, or they're also on stickers to inspire kind of the direction that the fins go and um, just trying to get as many colors on the fins as I can to provide kind of that colorful variety that's represented in the kit. So I create tail feathers and I create a like the dorsal fin or the top fin and the bottom fin. I'm hoping to enlist my nine-year-old Cashel who is a Bible journaler to jump on my next video because he probably can tell you all the parts of these fish and their complete anatomy. Um, but I will tell you, as I was doing this kind of cutting and thinking about the devotional, I really was struck with the idea that Jesus provided for the people's obvious needs, their seen and felt needs, like food and f loaves and bread and fish, but he also then provided for their unseen needs as the bread of life. And that's something that I was really meditating on because there are so many needs we know we have. And then how many times does the Lord meet a need um, that we didn't even know we had? And I think that's really what Jesus was doing here. It's why they came calling, crying for more. Um, they returned to Jesus asking for more. So I used this double-sided tape to just sort of gently adhere the pieces so I wouldn't lose them. I would can keep track of them, had them in place. Um, and, and then I set them aside because I knew I wanted to use the stencil to make a backdrop. Um, the other thing I knew I wanted to do was create a basket for the loaves of bread. So um, I'm using one of the Creative Retreat inks that I picked up this month that coordinates really well with the kit here. It's called Rose Corsage. Originally, I was just going to paint um, these loaves of bread brown, and then I thought, no, I want to stay true to the colors of the kit as much as I can. This Rose Corsage goes great with brown, so I smudged the ink on first, I'm using those little uh, little daubers, which I do Velcro to the back of my pads so I don't have to keep reusing them, and then they're already saturated. So that first time I have to really saturate a pad, but then when I reuse it for ink, they I don't have to do that as much. Um, and then I'm literally, you see, I'm just using watercolors that my kids had to fill in those kind of the um, scored lines of the bread with brown to kind of draw attention to the fact that they were loaves. And then Fussy cut the five loaves out. There were a couple, quite a few images that I just found online, saved an image, printed it. They're like color sheets for kids, which gave me options of um, the kind of loaf I wanted. Um, and I did just like these. They actually reminded me of some of the sourdough that I have been creating at my house. So that's why I use this particular image. I'm not gonna use the fish, so I'll move it aside. Um, but I am going to create the basket. And again, I just looked at some Google images and tried to figure out what was the simplest form I could make. Um, so I blended on some Yield ink, which is also a Creative Retreat ink, and it goes great with this kit this month. There is a slightly darker yellow available in the Creative Retreat shop that goes even better um, with the kit. Here, what I did was I brought that same brown back and just kind of blended it. Some of it was wetter than others. You'll see how that impacts it, how it comes out here in a second when I pick up the stencil. And I actually liked it. 
um, I just had to let it dry. Um, I'll come back and cut this and add some black pen when it dries and it'll make more sense. So set that aside, let it dry. Um, and then I am going, oh, actually I did cut it out, I guess, just mostly because I wanted to keep track of the size of the basket um, for the layout on the page. So just created kind of that rounded bottom basket and keeping in mind that I wanted the, um, the opening, you'll see this in a minute, of the basket to also be able to be drawn there. Now I'm gonna grab the stencil. Um, I just have a bunch of these little pads, Velcroing them on the back to create sort of a three-dimensional water look. Obviously, the fish were just handed to Jesus. He didn't fish for them, but I just liked these, the stencil of the um, scales so much. And I always like to, rather than just leave a white backdrop, unless I'm being really intentional with that, trying to keep it simple, to tie your eyes around the page with a variety of colors um, and then, and to keep that, the theme of the colors. And in this situation to also keep that theme of the scales. They almost look like waves here, which, um, is a, a fun, versatile stencil to have. Um, so here, I'm, the way I'm layering them, I use some powder puff blue, and then I used mermaid, or I'm sorry, powder puff blue, and then waterfall blue, and then my actual favorite there you just saw me put down, which is bonsai green. I just love it, that vibrant teal. And then I thought, you know, I want a little bit more to go into the text of the story, so I just brought it back out and added a little more at the top and to the left that was a little bit lighter. I didn't press as much and just kind of brushed my pad. Um, so you could still see the story that I was focusing on. You will see that when I glue down the basket and the fish at the top of the page, I am covering part of the scripture. This is my art Bible. It's a huge illustrating Bible um, by Dayspring and they have several styles. They have a Psalms, they have um, they're going to have a new one coming out here soon of the Gospels, so you can um, use the links below to go check those out. And that gives me permission to cover things without um, making it illegible for me. I have other Bibles that I study in, that kind of thing. So this Bible is just an art Bible. So I did just arrange these loaves here in the top of the basket. You saw me add using a black pen there. Using the same stencil, I just added some black details to make it look like a weave of the basket and also that oval along the top to look like the opening of the top of the basket. And then I glued these together and then kind of cut a straight line across that matches the edge of the basket, glue them down, and then you've given the illusion of these breads, loaves of bread sticking out of the basket. I did use the basket because it, the story talks about there being 12 with leftovers. So does the devotional. It focuses a lot on the idea of leftovers. And there being 12 baskets of leftovers. So I did use the basket as an ode, kind of a tip to the fact that there would be leftovers to put in the basket. Um, and then what I realized was the, originally my plan was to put these fish on the backdrop I created, but you lost the teal paper of on the fish, um, the teardrop fish and the fin of the other fish. And so then I said, well, I'm gonna run back to that uh, Faithful Digital's printable and use one of the note cards that would give a stark color contrast. So I chose this burgundy and orange one that said only Jesus, which then led me to the title of this video and the sentiment that I wanted to be on this card. And it says um, only Jesus and that came on the card. Then I added the word Fetty by his hands and then these alphas spell out provision and satisfaction. Again, kind of the two different needs that Jesus was meeting, the provision of the food and then the satisfaction of the soul. And so then um, I made it a tip in because I figured that, again, just like it was busy for the fish to be overlaid, it might be too busy for me to just write on so that I can flip that card up and write on the back just white. Um, this tab was made from the pattern paper on the back of the devotional, and I just used my tab punch. And then some washi I had on hand that were roughly the same colors, some of that gold there on the tip in, and I used one of the circles there from the sticker set that says more than I could ask or seek. Again, I feel like people can ask for that provision and sometimes we don't know what to ask for. So there's that idea of seeking, seeking satisfaction. I thought the two concepts went nicely together. And then I just used a, a tape runner to adhere these down. Again, they do go over the um, actual ink or actual text. Then I squared the passage feeding the 5,000 and wrote my prayer. It just says, Lord, your provision comes unexpectedly and completely. Help me to trust you to meet my needs. 
the ones I recognize, loaves and fish, and the ones I don't, bread of life. Amen. And recognizing that kind of dichotomy of the two uh, things, provision and satisfaction. Um, I hope you're inspired to do something different with pattern papers or to layer or to try inks in a new way. Um, don't be afraid and always look for freebies online if you're nervous about drawing something yourself because that's what makes me nervous. Um, I hope that your spirit is also encouraged by the idea that only Jesus, um, through by his hands, we receive provision and satisfaction. You can find all the links for everything I use down in the description below. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you don't miss a video or what the awesome things the design team is doing with this month's kit, Abundantly More. Thanks for tuning in. This is Alex of Pacific Northwest Bible Journaling here on the Creative Retreat YouTube channel.